Hello and welcome to Conquering Mount Scrapmore with Brenda. I'm Brenda and today we're here and we're going to talk to you about the hand sewing of the nosegays for the five and six inch scale to put all the crown that we worked on last week to the cone, right? So this will give us our finish, help us finish our quilt block up. So it's going to be a little bit longer video. Hopefully it won't take too long, but you know, bear with us. When you're working the five and six inch scale, it's actually easier to hand sew those Y seams, do all those Y seams, because you, you know, it's just easily, you know, it's just a little area that you got to hand stitch and then you move on to the next bit. But we'll show you more in the, in the video. There's one person and she has become a very dear friend uh, to me on YouTube and her channel is called Marie's Scrappy Creations. If you have not checked her out, she does wonderful things with her scraps. And she just doesn't do quilting. She makes little bags and little, you know, uh, angels. And there's a bunch of different videos she's got there now. I believe she is working on a, a sew along right now where she's doing all scrappy, fun blocks. And some of them are crumb blocks. Some of them, one was a, my potato chip block, which I thought was great. But go check her out and tell her that Brenda sent you. We have a Facebook group. And we're voting currently today on what day we're going to be sewing our November sew date. We are offering one virtual sew date a month. Now, if by the time this airs, we've already decided, we will, I'll post it in the show notes below. So check it out for, and there'll be a Zoom link there for you to come join. Also in the Facebook group, we're doing rooms. Now, if you're in your sewing room and you're hanging out and you're, Gee, it'd be nice to have somebody talk to Check the room because everybody, we're telling everybody that we can. You know, if you're hanging out and you want somebody to talk to, go check on, go sign yourself into the room. And that way the group gets to know each other and you get to become friends too. So anyways, come on in. We've got lots of sewing to do today. Okay, so we're, here we are with the, the block we did last, the nosegay crown that we did last week and all the edges around it. I'm going to show you how to put it on here like so. Now, first off, quick review. You do a couple of knots. There we go. Now, I'm going to put a little bit more thread conditioner on here just because I know that I can. Okay. And thread conditioner helps keep your thread from knotting up and tangling on itself and it's just a wonderful little thing. Now I have a couple of choices on how I can do this. I can go from here and work from this edge or I can work from this side. Now there's a lot less color noise from this end so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop my needle in here and in here. Now this is my sewing needle right? Because you can see the thread on the end of it. So that gets me started. And then I'm going to drop my pin a quarter inch from this line and right on the seam. And then I'm going to go a quarter inch down on both sides of this seam. Do you see where that needle is? So it's a quarter inch on both sides, right? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up so the yellow and the white or the low volume is perfectly lined up just like so and I want a pin in the center just to keep everything in place about a quarter inch down that gives me a little place to aim for right so and I'm only going to sew like like an inch at a time oh Oh, I thought you guys went black. Oh no, okay, you didn't go black. Good! <laughs> so here we go. We start with our very first stitch. We take just a tiny little stitch and that gets us started. And we end up with our knot, their quilter's knot that we did at the end. And then we take another tiny little stitch and we take the, the thread from the eye of the needle, wrap it under and pull tight and then do two quick handover knots. Okay. There we go. And now we're just going to motor along. This comes really, this comes really qu quickly together. It's a little faster than the other one. The 
the nose, the, the crown and the little edge pieces because you're dealing with a bigger, two bigger pieces, right? And you get in there and you come up and that inch is big enough. So now, because we don't have a seam on either side, right? There's no seam. You just do a half stitch back and you keep going all the way to your next seam which is marked by that needle or that pin yeah this is I find this part the best so what I'm doing now is I'm going through my blocks getting all the the sewing machine sewing done and then I finish up you know the I start doing you know adding bits I put the crowns together first you know kind of I'm going through the bags that way and every once in a while I'll just finish a block because then I see progress oops I just unthreaded my my thread oh no okay well I'll take that out and rethread it I pulled so hard I pulled it right out oh, I, there. there that wasn't too painful to watch <laughs> There's days, it's just like, oh wow. Okay, so now I have to line up again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the peak of my cone. And you always want to sew with the, the brown bits or the, the part you want is the cone. And then I'm going to go straight down into the center and straight down and then I'm going to try and line up the yellow the best I can so it kind of looks like that right so the top of it looks like this and then I just pivot under and down and then I take another one just to line it up and keep everything all lined up so it doesn't start puckering or something silly and now I go to this end and I take a teeny weeny little stitch and I pull my thread, eye thread, over the front of my needle. Do two hand over knots. Now I think I've got, I don't think I have enough thread to get through here, but maybe I do. I don't. If I don't, I'll show you how to add thread or when you run out of thread. That uh, That's also helpful too. You know how to do that. Okay, so now I just motor along with a running stitch to that first pin and I've dropped it down about a quarter of an inch, right? So it kind of gives me something to aim for and you're only sewing this, you're only worrying about the one inch at a time, right? That's the beauty of this, this kind of quilting, right? Like this hand sewing. You're not worrying about hand sewing the entire quilt, you're worrying about one inch at a time. That's the only thing you're, you're looking at. Now, as you come up, you should look at the back. See, yes, I'm not lying flat, relatively flat. And I want to come up as close as I can to that pin. And there we are. Yes, perfect. So that pin, I can't get, there's not even a thread between the pin and my needle. So now I push down because I've gone through a big bulky bit. Okay, and we smooth it out, just smooth it out with your fingers. And now we want to put in a little tack stitch and through the over the front, right? Under, under and over the front. And a couple of handovers just to secure that point. Because that point's going to have lots of stress there. Because there's on the other side of it, there's a big bunch of diamonds. So now we want to get this lined up with this edge here, right? So we're going to take this and roll it this way and pull all of this out that way. And we're going to go a quarter inch down to this on the seam line and a quarter inch in both directions on the blue, right? So you see where that is? And it all lines up nice and neat. And now you're just going to straighten and flatten this. And a quarter inch down, and there. Now, it, when you're doing this, I'm doing this for a reason. Because now I don't have to figure out how to get all around all of this at the back, right? So when I'm sewing from this side, I only have to worry about making that, that first 
first stitch onto the blue, right? So I push all the seams out of the way with my finger in the back and I come up right on that seam line with my needle and I make a tiny little stitch, as small as I can, because I'm pushing a lot of bulk out of the way. And then I make another two-handed over knots that way. One and two. There we go. And now I'm free to do a running stitch. I just push the, all that bulk behind me out of the way. And this is probably why uh, you don't want to be trying to maneuver all the bulk, right? You just, if you can just push it away with your finger, that's the perfect place that you want to be, right? That's my big tip. Don't worry about bulk, just sew from the other side, right? Okay. There we go, and pull that through. Nice and neat. There we go, halfway down. Go right, keep going across. There. There. Now, now we're just about at that, that pin. Hang on, there we go. I'm gonna drop it down and under the needle, right? Okay, get rid of that, and I'll do two handovers, knots, they're real tiny. <laughs> and now you push it through, right? Just like that, Just you stay as close. You're pushing it through that seam, right? And now you're going to maneuver this so it lies nice and flat and then you're going to pin a quarter inch from both sides and a quarter inch like basically you're going to take that first stitch right there right there just like that quarter inch on both sides and down and you're you're pinning on the blue because that's where you want to be pinned right you don't want to be pinning on the white and there and now this is pretty short, but I'm gonna see if I've got enough. Probably, oh, I probably do have enough. But anyway, so bring it from behind and under. Well, maybe I should show you how to add more thread. That would be good too. That would be a good lesson. There. Two of these. Oh. Okay. So let's say right now we ran out of thread, right? I, you know, I, I know I have enough thread to finish the end, but let's say we ran out of thread. I would make a half stitch back and make a knot with whatever I had, like over, right? And then two handovers. Now, if you run out in the middle of a, a long stitching session like this, this is the perfect thing to do. You tie as many knots, like two or three knots, if you can. Like I did have enough to finish, but I'm gonna show you how to do this. So now you just take some more thread and don't take anything longer than your arm. From the tip of your finger to your arm, because it's easier to sew and actually you get a better rhythm on your sewing. Okay. And you gotta figure out how to thread your needle. Okay, so now you go down you make your quilter's knot by laying down across. You know, I go a few times over. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hopefully you see it. Okay. Yeah, like that. Okay. Now I'm going to put some thread conditioner on it just because I don't trust it. I don't trust it to not tangle by the time I get... Where is this? Okay, I don't trust it not to tangle. Oh, a couple of times, there, that's good. Okay, you start just before, like just after, like just behind that knot that you made, right? And you go up, you take one stitch, right? Now you do the same stitch again, where you take from the back of the thread to the front and under, and now you create a knot. And then you do two handover knots, 
because you want that area the where you start and where you finish to be as secure as possible right and now you keep going forward and take you know take your stitches try and make them even okay and where did it go right about here um, okay right there I'm gonna pull it through and go half a stitch back right half a stitch you just want to drop it in between and now we are at the end just about at the end and the great tada mo moment okay and there so now you pull that through you go back under the front and two hand over knots and we are done we are ready for our to big to dumb moment so isn't this cute this is just so cute and it did come together quite quickly now with the other cones I was the next one I would sew on is here and then I would work my way out right because the cones would fall like this and then you would start sewing from one edge all the way around right to the and then you would do the other side and then your block is done right so these come together pretty quick once you get the crowns all done because the crowns probably take all the work putting all the little edge pieces on now this comes together I have not ironed this I have not touched it with an iron and everybody says, oh, let me see the back, let me see the back. Can my cameraman show me the back, show us the back of this? Just a little, yeah, just to see, you know, it's not iron or nothing. I would suggest when you're doing this in the hand, because it's so tiny, to get a clover iron, just a little, it's got like a little boot like that on the front of the clover. It's like clover shaped. And it's really tiny little iron that you just kind of work along through. Oh, my cameraman's phone mine. This thing. This kind of iron. Because this iron will... This iron here will take out those little seams very quickly. And I'll just press them all down. It does get warm. But I mean, it just presses them all down flat, nice and everything. It just works great. And remember when you're... Because you've swirled the crown and the cone to swirl your edge too right so you're going to make a swirling motion with your iron to make every keep everything lying flat so this is a really good tool to have for something like this because the piecing is really tiny okay i hope you have a great week ahead and everything just goes lovely for you okay you take care bye my husband and i would love to thank you for coming along with us on our little fun adventure here that we're having. We do have a Facebook group now and that Facebook group is got some very, very talented quilters in there and we love sharing and, and you know, posting pictures and commenting and it's, it's been a lot of fun. And the advantage of the Facebook group is sometimes I drop patterns in there early. So you kind of get a hint as to what is coming next. After the nosegay sew along, we're going to be doing curves boot camp right away. So we'll get to sewing those curves and it'll be fun. It'll be a lot of, it'll be a lot of interesting little blocks that we've got to work on. But we would like you to share, like, and subscribe. Telling your friends about us and, and letting them know that you kind of like our channel, that, that means so much to us here. So you take care. You have a fabulous week ahead. Okay, bye!